guys, we're on a no heat call. Train gas package unit was installed last December, almost a year old. Amazes me how people want always plant a bush right in front of the unit when they get a new package unit. Anyway, so we were here all yesterday afternoon. The on call tech was here, it was out on a high limit. He reset everything and it came back on. Wasn't really clear about whether the limit was open and it was off and everything was cool. It was stuck open, which would be a bad twitch if it's open and the unit hadn't been running. So uh, they called back this morning, said, oh, it did it again. So the unit has been off, the thermostat is off. We'll see what kind of fault code we're getting. And we are not getting. There's not a fault code here. And right beside the green light there is a fault light and it is not showing a fault. So. And there's that little guy. Right there. What's up, bud? He's probably a, a little chilly. Why well, he's not moving so slow. They're not moving so fast. But anyway, they're around. Yeah, he ain't about moving. He's probably trying to find some sunlight somewhere. So anyway, let's uh, jump it out and see what it does. I mean, now I'm just going based on the history. Uh, open limit yesterday reset everything check gas pressures check filters check the airflow things like that everything was fine it's less than a year old the coil shouldn't be stopped up so I guess we'll start from scratch and see what it does it is a single stage unit before it, I jump it out, I'm going to hook my manometer up real quick so we can check the gas pressure. Alright, move that little gecko over on the back deck in the sunlight. Let him get a little bit of sun. So let's jump it out. Let's see what happens with this. Let's see what our pressures are. Probably 3.3 .3 or 3.5. It's on this little sticker under the bottom of the gas valve. That one says 3.3. Now we got a fault code flashing. One, two, three, four. four flash. Let's see what a four flash is. Four flash. Open limit. Yeah, they make this print smaller and smaller. So diagnostic indicators, four flash, open limit or rollout. So Rollout is right down there. Let's uh, see if it's okay. So it's not tripped. So let me trace out our limit circuit real quick. Because if the primary limit's open, this thing's been off all afternoon since they called in this morning. It's cold in here. It's cool. It's 60 degrees outside that limit back there should not be open. Let me tra trace the circuit out and we'll check it. 
Alright, so there's the primary limit in this package unit. Whether or not you can see, let me get a flashlight. There's orange wires right there. Go all the way back down behind the blower housing, and that's going to be your limit switch. So those wires come back over here. And after you cut about 15 zip ties out, you can trace them back to the two little places on the bottom of that plug right there. So I'm going to unplug this real easily. And I should have continuity between, now there's two orange ones there. That's going to be your 24 volts out from the board. There's two wires in there. One's going to the rollout. One's going to the primary limit. This one comes back from the primary limit. And this purple one comes back from the rollout. So let's check and see if we have continuity. these two orange wires here. Get a lead in that one. And then get a lead in this one. And we do not. So that limit is open. If I go down here to this purple one, it should be checking my, oh it's on the other one. Roll out. Yep. So I got continuity coming back from the rollout. I just don't have continuity coming back from that primary limit. So let's slide this out. These should be automatic reset limits and not one one and you're done kind of a deal. So let me slide this out. So yeah, micro channel coil. Oh god. They got some issues in their future anyway there's our limit it sits back here is the blower i've got it kind of the housing slid out heat exchanger is back there let me get that limit out and check it oh my gosh, so i've got our limit out you should be familiar with that and that is not a one and done limit it shouldn't be should automatic reset when everything cools down and when we check it, absolutely zero, it's open, stuck. And that thing, it's nice and cool. It should be, see, you beat on it a little bit, it comes to its senses. So, Gonna need to get a new limit, guys. Anyway, it's heating season. You gotta love it. Cheap parts. All right, guys, so I went and got that new temperature limit. Now, when I left, this was running because obviously you saw when I tapped it, it closed back. And I left it set on 73, it was 68 in the house. So she said it's still running. I'm not getting a fault code. We'll jump it out real quick and see if it comes on. No fault code. So right now it's still holding from where I thumped it to get it to close back. Make sure it fires off. There we go. Bad temperature limit. But I went and grabbed one real quick. Out. So all you really have to do is just take that one little screw out right there and slide this thing out just enough. I shouldn't have to unplug the wires on the motor. Just enough to get it out of those rails. And then I can just sit it to the side over here inside the unit and then I can get back there to my switch so we just get back here and yes the power to the unit is off 
and we're just going to take the top screw out. I'm just going to loosen the bottom screw just a little bit. And it kind of sits right down there in behind it. We'll slide this limit out. And then there we are. Take these wires off. And that's a, if I'm not mistaken, it's only a 125 degree limit. Seems a little low, but that's, that's what's in there. And take the new one. Sit it in there. Put my screw, put it back in the top. Tighten it. Reconnect our wires. And we're going to come back over here and I'm going to double check the circuit from wire to wire to make sure I have continuity all the way through. Plug the plug. And we're going to check orange to orange. Right there. And we are good to go. Just a little simple temperature limit. I mean, it, it's only nine months old. I mean, I, I'm going to double check the gas pressure. I didn't check that a while ago once I realized I had a bad limit. I just went ahead and grabbed it. So anyway, let me get this thing back in here and then we'll fire it off and confirm our gas pressure and our temperature rise. All right, so we've got it back on. Valve calls for 3.3, we're at 3.39. So I will try to bring that down just a hair. Not that that's going to make a huge difference, but I like to try to be right on top of it. So now it's up to 3.47. degree return on the other side I'm just checking it right here at the back of the unit right here 115 degree supply temperature this is the supply side return on the other side so I just check it right here 116 we're about nine degrees from what that limit trips at so they keep the thermostat set on 70 I've got a 7 degree 69 degree return over there so we should be good. Plus it's 65 degrees out here today. This house is going to heat up pretty quick. But anyway, I may bump that blower up one more speed. It's an X13. I may try that, but I think we're going to be okay. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.